Hi Harper's Bazaar, I'm Saint Levant, and today I will be answering questions that are all about me. This first round of questions are all about my career. Okay, first question. Which one of my songs is this land from? I want those guys <laughs> I want those guys in your DMs to talk to themselves and then tell all their friends that they know you. That song is called Very Few Friends and it changed my life and I'm very grateful to everyone involved in the making of that song. And I love this line and I love that you asked me this question. I posted a snippet of it on TikTok, not really expecting much, it was just me and my car. And then my good friend Mia Khalifa reposted it with a legend and it just kind of psh, went crazy. And I had to scramble to release the song. I didn't have it mixed, I didn't have anything, no visuals, nothing, no tank top. No. And I turned it around in like five days and I posted it and, and now I'm with Harper's Bazaar. <laughs> okay, next question. In which one of my songs do I shout out legendary music producer and artist, Timbaland? Wow, great question. The song is I Guess, where I say, I was 17 when I left home, Timbaland in my headphones. And I was just Matic and Pedro. And um, it's true. I was 17 when I left home. I left uh, Jordan. I came to America. And I had a lot of Timbaland playing in my headphones. I, the music I make is very self-explanatory sometimes. So this is just facts. I shouted him out because growing up, my father was a huge Timbaland fan. I think the space in the beats and, the, and the, me and my dad are very big fans of just like drums in general. And Timbaland is a big fan of Arabic music, actually. Just that whole era, the 2000s with Aaliyah, and, and he's just a legend, longevity. Like he branded himself as a producer, and, and I think that's a tough thing to do, right? And so for that, we, I really respect him, and I hope to work with him one day. I'm manifesting it for sure. How many languages do I use in my music? Typically, three. I speak French, Arabic, and English fluently. That's how my brain operates. That's why I love Lebanon so much, because they speak those three languages, and it's just like, it's an interwoven sort of pattern of speech. I think that French and Arabic are way more expressive and imagery-based and focused. And so um, I'm trying to sharpen my songwriting in Arabic and French, for sure. Even though we're fluent, I think I can always get better. I love there's like an ad lib in very few friends that I uh, do. I say self respect with some green eyes and a suntan. Ya'ini alik. Ya'ini alik means like my eye on you, but contextually it just means like wow. My music is also very tied to my activism. What are some of the causes that I'm involved in? Beautiful question. I'm Palestinian. I was born in Jerusalem, raised in Gaza, the Gaza Strip. Everything that I do is is really um, focused and based on the Palestinian cause and struggle. Doing a lot of contextualizing of the Palestinian struggle because I came to America, man, and, and I realized that a lot of people thought that the Palestinian struggle was like, Oh, it's a it's a conflict between these two equal. You know, they just hate each other for some reason. Palestinians just hate Israelis, and what people don't understand is that it's 80 years of uh, of occupation and oppression and displacement and ethnic cleansing. So I think it's very important to uh, just push that forward always. And uh, I try to do it through the music. I try to do it through uh, my actions and everything that I do. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Second round of questions are personal questions. Where was I born and raised? So, uh, I, I, I just said this, but I was born in the holy city of Jerusalem. And I was raised in between the first seven years of my life in the Gaza Strip, Gaza. And then when I was seven, I moved to Jordan, Amman, Jordan. So, my father is uh, Serbian, Palestinian, and my mother is French, Algerian. And although I'm not super tight with every single one of those cultures and, and countries. I just think that it is, you know, it's a privilege to be uh, from those, you know, just to have an eclectic kind of background, but also at the same time, it's kind of like, where is home? What are we doing? Like, what's the vibes, <laughs> you know? When is my birthday? October 6th, 2000 is my birthday. To celebrate my birthday, I try to surround myself with the people I love. Uh, it's been tough in America. 
I have people I love in America, but like, you know, my, my everyone is spread out across the world. So um, I think now that, you know, um, this, this career is real and everything, I think I'll have a bit more opportunity to maybe bring people to me, you know, for my next birthday, my 23rd birthday. What is the inspiration behind the name Saint Levant? And what is my real name? Great question. So obviously Saint Levant is derivative of Yves Saint Laurent, which is a high fashion brand, but also Levant. The Levant is a region of the world that includes Palestine, Jordan, Lebanon, Syria. It's the Levant. And Levant in French means Levant, which sounds like the rising sun, and it's a colonial term. And I wanted to reclaim, um, reclaim that. My real name is Marwan Abdel Hamid. And whenever I go Starbucks or wherever, I make them do the whole thing. Never had a white name. Never. When did I decide I was going to start my mustache era? Wow. I don't know, man. It just kind of, I just didn't shave it. I didn't shave it, and it just happened. It's not even an era. Like, I wasn't like, I'm going to do a mustache era. No, man, it just happened, and, and, uh, and, I, and I don't want to shave it off. It's a, I like it. Do I feel connected to my mustache? Yeah. yeah I, talk to, I talk to him every night. Every night. You know, I can, I can do some crazy, I mean, like without even waxing it, I can run it like this, imagine. This is, this is the next era, for sure. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it down now. Okay, I, w I know you all want to know, am I single? Yo, no way. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? Okay, this is the lightning round. I'm gonna try to answer as many questions as I can in 30 seconds, let's go. Where is my comfort show? Simpsons, I don't watch shows. Comfort food, Mansaf. Favorite music artist, uh, Michael Jackson or Stromae? Which do I prefer, a suit or t-shirt and jeans? Suit. Which do I prefer, sweet or salty? Sweet. Favorite skincare type? I want, uh, where's the next vacation I want to take? Uh, it, it, Italy, I think. Italy, yeah. Or Morocco. What is a skill people don't know that I'm really good at saxophone? What is a skill that people don't know I'm really bad at? Uh, uh, s s singing. I don't. Oh. My favorite city, Gaza. That was yeah. That was good. Thank you, Harper's Bazaar, so much for this opportunity. I appreciate it. I'm very grateful, and uh, all the love from Gaza with love. Huh?